Hey, this is KT Bradford with Gotta Be Mobile, and I'm here at the Motorola launch event with Kevin McDunn, who's going to talk to us about Motocast, and specifically, he's going to talk to us about the video streaming aspect of it. So, um, Kevin, one of the things you just told me is that you'll be able to stream video from your computer to the Motorola Razr, and you'll be able to stream it even if the native format is not supported by the Razr. That's right. And in fact, what we do is not only convert it to an acceptable format for the phone, but also uh, down convert uh, the frame rate or the resolution as necessary to give you a smooth uh, playback regardless of the, the available uh, bandwidth on the network, whether you be on a Wi-Fi network, 3G or 4G. So let me just give you an example. This is our gallery application where uh, we're actually uh, accessing content that's on this uh, home computer mm -hmm. and uh, this is happens to be the uh, Droid Razor teaser spot, and this is a uh, high definition video that is being converted to QHD resolution mm -hmm. so that we're using no more data on the network than is necessary in order to give the user a, a great experience on the device. Uh, so it, it, you can be assured that it's a very smooth experience, filling your screen with high resolution uh, content, but uh, again, using no more than is required. And uh, our uh, decoder and encoder on the desktop does all the work for you, so it can take a wide variety of formats and bring it basically into one format that we optimize around for the device. Great. So, so when you first connect this device to the computer, it's going to uh, give you the ability to download the, the application onto the computer and install it, and then that is what does all the work of like making sure that all the folders are synced and everything else, right? That's right. And, and it's secure. All of your stuff stays on your computer or on your phone. Mm -hmm. You don't have to move it to someone else's cloud. And one of the really delightful things is, as you add new content, you don't have to think about, should I synchronize it with my phone or not? If you've selected those folders to be available to you, any new stuff you add or your family adds just shows up on your phone. Uh, Apple's iTunes playlist, for instance, if you add new music there at home, shows up in the, in the, the same playlist will show up on the music player on this device. So it pulls in the data from iTunes. Almost instantaneously, yes. Awesome. And can you also download um, the the content to the phone just as with music? Can you do that That's with video? Right. You can do a long press with any content, whether it be a photo or, uh, um, uh, or a song or a set of playlists, uh, an artist uh, even, and you can uh, download it. So I'll just show you an example. Um, let's see where I like this photo and I want to make sure I have it available to show my family perhaps when I'm uh, when I'm uh, visiting and so I just did a long press and selected download and it's there now. Okay and when you download video does it download the transcoded version or does it download the original version? It downloads the original version in full resolution format Okay. which and is really great for our HDMI out screen our uh, capability so you get full resolution when you want to share that uh, great. On, a, on a big screen.